Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing a review on a tobacco and I'm not just doing a review on a tobacco on here. This review is also going to be done on Reddit. Um, both this video is going to be posted on Reddit and I'm going to write on Reddit about this tobacco. And the reason I'm doing that is every couple months the Reddit pipe community does a community choice reviews. So they vote on tobaccos to review and then every month after that they review one of those tobaccos. This month, August, it's Rat Trays, Rat Rays, Old Gallery. I'm gonna say it's Rat Rays. Sounds better than Rat Trays. You know, I think it's spelt more like rat trays. Anyways, this tobacco is, according to the back of the tin, rich red Virginia flake, ready rubbed. So pretty simple. Uh, I did a little bit of research on tobacco reviews, and some people say it's mixtures of other stuff like Perique and all that. But on the tin, it just says Red Virginia. So, it's made in Germany. Now, first off, just want to talk about the tin. This is one of the most simplistic tins I've ever seen. And on the back, like, that's all there is. That's it. There's so many companies out there right now writing very poetic notes to their tobaccos in the back of the tin. It's kind of refreshing to look at this and see, hey, it's a tobacco. Take it for what it is. Now, tin note. Is... It's a Virginia. It's like a sweet hay, grassy note. I'm not really getting that raisin smell that I get with other Virginias. It's nice though, it's just not very strong, especially compared to something like Sam Gowett's uh, Full Virginia Flake or, um, let's see, or like Golden Slice. You know, you open up those and it's like, whoa, this is just kind of subdued, quiet. The uh, tobacco itself comes looking like that. I know you can't see that very well. But says it's oops, says it's ready rubbed. I actually rub it out a little bit before I smoke it because you get some really big clumps like that, which is a good thing. Um aesthetically and it lets you know that we're about to smoke is you know ready rub not they're not just saying that it was a flake at one point but it does need to be rubbed out a little bit or very least broken up a little bit by hand before you smoke it and I have found that either packing my pipe and letting it sit for a while before I smoke it or um Letting it sit, then packing the pipe is a better bet than uh, just going right ahead and smoking it. The other thing to note, hold on, the other thing to note is that this tobacco does expand a lot. Uh, the first time I smoked it, I packed it as much as I normally would pack a tobacco, which is almost right up to the very rim. I know you're not supposed to, but that's just how I do it. And it expanded way out. It expanded up, and then I was like, okay, well, I'll just tamp it down. So I tamped it down. Like that. And so it decided, well, I'm still going to expand. And it expanded right down and covered the air hole. So the first time I smoked it, I actually had to uh, 
dumb out half the bowl because I simply couldn't get enough air through it to get it to stay lit. The second time I smoked it, it was much better. I packed it right. It didn't clog the air hole. And it stayed lit, unlike today. Now, as to the flavor of the tobacco, um, it's a bit hard to really judge this for me. And the reason that is, is that I won't want to say it's complicated. It's almost comp it's almost simplistic to the point of being complicated. It's like I want there to be more because it's good, but I don't know how to find where there's more. So let me go through what I'm actually tasting here. Hay, sweetness, grassiness, hint of earthiness, and a hint of pepper. And that's it. It's very simple. Some people on tobacco reviews mentioned chocolate. Other people mentioned uh, uh, like the same sort of citrusy notes you would get from Orlick. Um, I'm not getting those. To be completely honest with you. So I don't know. Maybe I'm broken. But, is it a good tobacco? I sure as hell think so. It's not my favorite pure Virginia that I've had today. That wouldn't go to Orlick. However, it is better in my opinion than Squadron Leader. So, or not Squadron Leader. Dear God, I haven't even tried Squadron Leader. I'm going to have people trying to hammer down my door and shoot me. Um, no, uh, better than Full Virginia Flake, um, which, if you watch my review of that, I've just had problems with it throughout, and I just think it's way too much of a pain to actually smoke it. But no, Rat Rays, um, I'm gonna give a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, I like it. It tastes good. It's a good summertime smoke. It's not super complicated, so it is one of the smokes that I would classify as a smoke you do something with. That's just me, though. Everybody knows I like to either have a really complicated tobacco and do nothing, or have a simple tobacco and have something to do when I'm enjoying it. Mm. Nicotine. I haven't noticed much of a nicotine hit from this. So, your mileage may vary. Oh, and one note about the flavor before I finish this video, which I swear I'm almost done rambling. Um, the one thing I did notice is yesterday, for some reason, when I was smoking it before work, I actually got a bit of a hoppy note, like beer hops, like a bit of bitterness. It wasn't bad. I don't know where it came from. Well... You know, if you do taste that, you're not alone. Anyways, that's all for now, YouTube. I will see you again later.